going on YouTube? Um, long time no see, I guess. I haven't made a video in about like two months or something like that. But uh, I thought I'll make a video about Reaper Souls because it's, it's, I mean, compared to what the old Diablo was, this is, I mean, they they did a really good job. Um, I've been playing a lot of Barb. They nerfed the shit out of Barb, which kind of annoyed me, but it's still a good class to play. Um, my main thing is when I'm playing a class is I don't want to die and I want to be efficient at it. At killing shit, so Barb is a perfect class. I don't die and I'm pretty efficient doing it. So yeah, um, I got this build going. I don't know. I'm just going to show it to you. Some people might like it. Some people might not. Some people it might help. Just whatever you like. Um, so yeah, let's get started here. My main skills are cleave reaping swing no no brainer if you play diablo you know why i use this you need fury to use anything fury generator if there's a lot of mobs around you swing once fucking gain all your fury back boom right there hammered ancients this is your main damage dealer um there's another skill you need to use with this to do aoe damage which i'm going to show you in a sec because if you just use hammered ancients without the other skill, you're usually going to be hammering away on one person without doing any damage around you, which isn't going to be very good. Uh, use the rune of smash, it gives you 640% weapon damage, it's fire. Also, if you have like items that say 16% additional fire damage, you might, might want to throw those on because you're going to be doing even more damage. I don't have any of that gear right now, so I, I'm not using that, but I still do a ton of damage. War Cry. I just work right because uh, I'm not very. Uh, I am tanky, but I need more tankiness because I'm doing like Torment 2 and Torment 3 and stuff like that. Increase your maximum life by 10% and life regeneration by 8,000 per second. You can also, if you're like I said, if you're more tanky than me or you have more life regeneration, you can use Impunity for uh, all resistances, or you, you don't even have to use it at all. If you're if you feel comfortable that you can um, play without it, without getting rolled, you're Go by all means. Fury charge, another great skill. Generates fury, uh, and it also does 360 weapon damage. So if you're, you know, low on fury and you're in a big ass mob, you just charge, and boom, you're full fury. Either or you can initiate. You can just charge into a mob. You're already doing 360 weapon damage, so the mob you charge into is pretty much almost half dead. If you have good gear, then you just smash away, and they're pretty much dead. Um, stamina, obviously using your stamina to generate 10 additional fury for each enemy hit while charging. Avalanche, this is pretty much, I'm using this because uh, elite, elites, to melt elites down. You can use something like Wrath of Berserker or something like that, but that that cooldown on that Wrath of Berserker is ridiculous, so I, I don't use it. I use this because this pretty much has no cooldown. It has a 30 second cooldown, but if you pop this and you start hammering your way on an elite, your cooldown is going to be done by the time Evelyn finishes its skill because it's yeah, cooldown reduced by one second for every 25 fury you spend. So it's a pretty good skill. Use uh, Rune Glacier, 1600 weapon damage. This is the skill I was talking about. You need Battle Rage to deal AoE damage with your hammer. Use the Rune Blood Shit. Crit hits cause an explosion explosion of blood dealing 20% of the damage done to all other nearby enemies you need this without this you're going to be doing damage to only one person around you and that's not good that's not efficient so you want to use this with the hammer passives doesn't really matter what passives you use or whatever you feel comfortable with I like damage I need a lot more damage so I use damage because if you need survivability use survivability passives it's whatever you want to do I use Rampage, Ruthless, Rampage is good, obviously damage, more damage as I go along, Ruthless, damage, Unforgiven, the one thing I would use is Unforgiven because it generates fury, uh, you don't de degenerate fury, if you just stand there you notice my fury is full right now because I'm just standing here, Weapon Master, you could, you could use Superstition or Bloodthirst or any other nerf of steel or any other skill out there, if you need fury, if you need more fury, you don't have enough fury or you don't have enough fury generation time, in a mod city increase fury generation by 10% uh yeah but Fortnite. you won't really need a lot of fury generation because you have uh, uh fury charge so 
I mean, if you charge once, your shooter's just gonna shoot up pretty much, and the cooldown isn't that much, it's only 10 seconds. So by the time you spend that period, you just gain this back off cooldown. Uh, Paragons, I mean, I don't even know why I'm showing this, but it's pretty basic. I mean, strength, you want as much strength as possible. Crit, it all, I crit and crit damage I do whichever I have less that's where I put it in if I have a lot of crit damage I'm gonna put all my paragons into crit chance if I have little crit chance I'm gonna you know it just alternates whichever I need more whichever I need more uh, resist all obviously utility life on hit that's pretty obvious too you need life on hit to survive unless you have like a lot of gear that has all life on hit on it which I don't know why you would do that but yeah, uh, items. I just pretty my items aren't the greatest, but it is what it is. I've been playing since release. It's what I came up with. Um, I need a lot better weapons. I need a lot better a few other pieces. So yeah, but you want strength, vic, crit chance. You want crit chance on as much stuff you can get. Crit chance and crit damage. Um, also, all resist survivability. My, my helm doesn't have all resist. I would love it to have all resist, but it doesn't. Amulet, strength, vic, crit chance, crit damage. It could be a lot better. It could be 10% crit chance and like 100% crit damage, you know. But what, what can I say? Can't ask for everything, right? Shoulder, shoulders are like pretty much all about just getting as much tankiness out of them at, as possible. Strength, vic. 90% resist all, 13% life, no got thorns damage, not that that means anything, but, oh, uh, <coughs> wow, I, this is my third time recording this video, because people keep interrupting me, I recorded the whole video without sound, uh, <laughs> yeah. my, uh, black thorns, uh, wow, armor, three sockets, strength, vid, resist all, uh, I would love to get the two piece, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Uh, this belt's really good. I love this belt. It helps me a lot in fights. If I see a health globe, I just grab it and boom, my HP's five percent more than what it was before. It, I mean, it, it can't ask for more. You can get this uh, belt out of the Act Two or Act Three bounties. I'm not sure, but yeah, just look it up. It's a really good belt. I, I, I recommend using it. Rings, you know, cookie cutter shit, crit damage, strength of it, attack speed, strength, crit damage, crit chance, pants. I have resist all gems in my pants because I need the survivability. But maybe if I get some other items, I'll take that out and put uh, rubies in there. Firewalkers boots. You don't have to use firewalkers. I just happen to find a pair that are pretty damn decent. Um, you know, a lot of strength, a lot of it, a lot of resistance. That's what you want on boots. Movement speed. That's pretty important too, because you don't want to move like a turtle. Weapons. My weapons are fucking horrible. I need better weapons. Don't mind those. Uh, yeah. You want sockets in your weapons. If you're going to use a two-hander, uh, I wouldn't recommend a two-hander because you're going to move slow as shit and you're going to attack slow as shit. But, hey, do what you want. How are my stats looking? My uh, unbuffed right now, sitting at 49% crit chance, 515 weapon damage. My resistance is at high 900, or well, low 900s, high 1000s. That doesn't make any sense, but okay, let's just go with that. Life per hit is 3000. This is why I need um that will work right with uh, the, what was it? Work right with uh, invigorate to get my HP back because I don't have a lot of life on hit so yeah that helps a lot so when I pop my uh, war cry I got life per second 8,000 life per second so that helps a lot then I pop my battle rage and my efficiency goes up to 52 percent so yeah I would like it to be a little bit higher but it is what it is right now I don't have on um, some of my items I don't have a uh, crit chance or not high crit chance like you know, like this, this could be 10% crit chance, this could be 6% crit chance, um, this could be 6% crit chance, a lot, well not really, uh, yeah, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it, let me show you how this build, uh, in action, yeah.
Okay, hopefully I don't get on, but anything's possible. Pop that, pop that, just go in the fucking portal. Unleash your Unleash This is Torment 2, so uh if I die, no I'm not gonna die. Just I just kid, I just kid. My enchantments also I have a follower item that uh turns my um turns the enemy sometimes into chickens, that's why you see that happen. Big mom, big mom. Just, just hammer away from me. Attack speed helps too because you attack faster. I hate this. I hate this rift. This rift sucks. I need you on a big mob to show you how this works. That fire hurts quite a bit. Wow, this is like the worst possible rift I could have gotten. See, I just charged in, they're already half dead. I just hammered a few times. Really seriously. This is terrible. Yes, we died. So you charge in, you pop your avalanche, and you just go. <laughs> you might oh arcane beams, arcane beams are dangerous, they are dangerous. You pop a potion, charge back, not bad idea, charge back. Holy shit, they're fucking me up. Ah, I'm gonna die, I'm I'm dead. Oh, don't do that. Make sure not to do that. I'll get the arcane beams fucking me up though. Yeah, that's a lot of arcane, so they need to chill. Pop avalanche, charge in, just go ahead. Uh, you might wanna play fear too. So you gotta grab a health plot, now my HP is at 707,000, there's only 700, 604. They're dead. I kinda fucked up the first time. It's stuck in between our teams, you know, the, uh, obviously you're gonna die. And if you have the amulet, they give some vulnerability to fucking teams, which I have, but it has fucking decks on it. Pop it up and then shoot the guy's charge. mobs here and there. Gotta chase them. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, try it out, give it a try, see how you like it. And if you do, maybe I'll make some more uh, more tutorials on other this script is terrible. What the fuck? Anyways, peace.